Hey, it's David Mann from The Afternoons, and I wonder, have you ever had trouble forgiving someone before? We all have, right? What kind of question is that? What about yourself? Have you ever had trouble forgiving yourself? You see, at the end of January, it was a Friday afternoon, I was in my office at work, and I got a phone call. I got a phone call, and there was an automated machine, and it kind of said it was an offense if you didn't pick up the phone because it was a CRA, and I fell for it. I have never lapsed so much judgment in my life. Uh, What happened over the next couple of hours was I fell for the trap of a scam. And I ended up giving a significant amount of money to some frauds across the world. It didn't really come into my realization that this had happened actually until the following day. I thought I was doing good. I thought I was helping stop uh, money laundering from someone using my account. They, they, they pull off a really professional story, as I'm sure you've heard in news reports. And so the Saturday evening, I'm at the police station because they had had this plan that I was going to be talking to a police officer the next day to get my money back. It was to put, it, we put in this safe vault. Sure enough, there was no one there. And I called the police and I realized for the first time that I had been scammed. I remember going to sleep that night and waking up the next morning on Sunday and I remember just wishing that it was a bad dream, but then to realize that it actually happened, wow, that was hard. I preached that next day at church on the Sunday in Huntsville, and God got me through that. And then I remember the next Monday, how am I going to get through this week? You see, I, I didn't really care so much about the finances. Yes, it was significant, but it was the shame that I felt. Oh my goodness, it was the shame that I felt. And I was directed in my Bible reading to Psalm 25, verses 1 to 3. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame. And I came to this realization, slowly but surely, that shame and hope cannot coexist. After I let this scripture wash over me and after sharing what had happened to me with select friends and family members, I I realized more and more the depth of the gospel and that that yes, my shame didn't have to exist, that that Jesus had forgiven me at the cross for what had happened to me that Friday afternoon. And the exclamation point really was that there I was throughout the week in the studio doing what I always do, uh, coming on in between songs. And those songs that week, ones that I've always heard, but they touched me in an impactful way. There There was a song by Jason Gray, new song. And needing a new song, needing a get me through the storm kind of song. And that was that was that for me. And then there was, we are messengers power. How can I forgive when I can't forgive myself? That was me. How can I move on from my shame? That was me too. I need a miracle. I need a new heart. And God did that for me. I mean, if Jesus can forgive us of our shortcomings, then surely we can forgive others. And so that's my challenge to you right now. Who's in your life that you need to forgive? Now, my second, my follow-up question to that is, why have you not been able to forgive them? Was there something along the way that you haven't been able to forgive yourself for because of that? It's when you can come to terms with that that you can come to terms with forgiving them. But the work has to go inside out in your heart, and then it will overflow. You can forgive because Jesus forgave you.